time to take a look at our second word of the day. 오늘의 두 번째 단어는 바로 무릉도원인데요. <웃음> 예전에 제가 재미있는 이야기를 들은 적이 있는데요. 미용실에 가면 머리를 감겨주잖아요. 그런데 미용실 직원이 머리를 감겨주면서 무릉도원이세요? 하고 물어봤대요. 그래서 머리 감겨주는 게 너무 좋은지 네, 어, 무릉도원이네요. 라고 답했는데 알고 보니까 물 온도 괜찮으세요? 라고 물어봤던 거 듣고 Oh my gosh, I thought it was so funny. 한참 웃었는데요. You know, when you go to the hair salon, they wash your hair and the salon staff, whoever's washing your hair, they'll ask, are you in 무릉도원? And the person, you know, feeling so relaxed, relaxed and pleased with the massage, whatever, said, Yeah, it's like 무릉도원. And later they realized the staff was actually asking, Is the water temperature okay? 물 온도 괜찮으세요? Not 무릉도원. thought it was pretty funny because uh, we have these moments where we just think someone says something and it's completely wrong. 미용실에서 머리를 감겨주면 정말 기분이 좋아서 무릉도원에 왔다고 생각이 들 정도인 이 무릉도원. 영어로 하면 유토피아로 번역될 수 있는 세계이죠. So basically, um, you know, when you're getting a hair wash at a salon, it feels so good that it feels like you're in 무릉도원, which can be translated to utopia. 사람들이 행복을 누리고 살수 있는 꿈에서나 나올 방법한 이제 완벽한 세상을 가리키는 말이죠. It refers to a perfect world where people enjoy happiness, a kind of dreamlike place called utopia or 무릉도원. 이제 유토피아는 1516년 영국의 철학자 토마스 모어의 소설에서 처음 나온 말인데요. 무릉도원에 대해서는 전해지는 이야기가 있습니다. So the term utopia originally came from a novel written back in 1516 by an English philosopher by the name of Thomas More. However, there is a traditional story, an origin story behind the Korean term 무릉 도원. 이제 옛날에 한 선비가 있었는데요. 집안이 너무 가난해서 글 공부를 하고 싶어도 할 수가 없었다고 합니다. 그런데 어느 겨울날 선비는 눈덩이를 뭉쳐서 담을 쌓고 그 안에 들어앉아서 해를 쬐다가 그만 깜빡 잠이 들고 말았는데요. 이제 이 선비는 꿈속에서 산속의 어느 깊은 곳에 들어가게 되었는데 그곳이 바로 무릉이라 불리는 곳이었답니다. So long ago, there was a scholar who was so poor that he couldn't afford to study no matter how much he wanted. Now, one winter day, he molded some snow into a wall and sat within it, kind of like a, what do you call it, an igloo, and basked in the sun. However, before he knew it, he fell asleep, and in his dream, he ventured deep into a mountain called Murung. So, this Murung is a mountain that has been filled with snow, and all the animals and animals have been filled with snow. So, this Murung is a mountain that has been filled with snow. 배고픈 것도 느끼지 못하고 걱정도 없이 공부는 했는데요. 그렇게 행복에 젖어 깨어보니 꿈이었다고 하죠. 이때부터 이 선비의 꿈에 빗대어서 행복하게 살수 있는 유토피아를 무릉도원이라 칭하게 되었다고 합니다. So in this mountain 무릉, peach blossoms were in full bloom. There were various beautiful birds and animals. All creatures filled the area. And in this beautiful place, the scholar neither felt hunger nor any worries, immersing himself solely in the studies that he'd always wanted to study. But when he finally woke up, he realized it was only just a dream. So from that, the scholar's dream became a metaphor for a happy utopia referred to as Murung Toan. <laughs> so whether it's in Korean or in English, Murungdoan, utopia, can be found at the salon <laughs> when somebody's washing your hair. Your sai and ijehun, nagwon.